the image of a book cover appears on screen. The book we are reading today is titled Colors of the Wind, the story of blind artist and champion runner George Mendoza. It was written by J.L. Powers and illustrated by Haley Morgan Sanders. The paintings in the book were done by George Mendoza. To the left of the cover is a colorful painting of a wildflower patch. At the top is a quote from the author and a quote from George. The author says, To Nesta, my best little buddy who has taught me to love picture books. And George says, To my daughter, Maria Mendoza. Many of the paintings in this book feature lots of bold, bright colors and abstract shapes. Abstract means the shapes are interpretations of how the objects look in real life. Let's begin. On the next page, we see a drawing of an orange and red basketball. To the right, we see a painting of a black hand swatting orange and red balls. The background is bright yellow and dark blue. George never stayed still. When I grow up, he thought, I will be a basketball player. On the next page, we see a drawing of George. He has shaggy hair and a long, athletic body. He is looking out the window at a dramatic red and black swirl. To the left, we see the full painting of the swirl. George never got sick, but one day he looked out the window and saw the whole world painted red. He thought, that's funny. On the next page, we see George rubbing his head with his hands. To the right, we see a painting of orange and yellow loops. The background is a combination of turquoise and royal blue smears. George never fumbled the basketball, but then he started to see blue and orange and yellow squiggles floating in the air instead of the basket. Whenever he tried making a shot, his head hurt all the time. Sometimes it hurt so bad he had to stay in bed all day and he couldn't play basketball. He thought, that isn't so funny. On the next page, we see George at the doctor's office. His doctor is wearing a white coat and holding a clipboard with a painting of an eye on it. He has his hand on George's shoulder as they look sadly at one another. To the right, we see the full painting of the blue eye. The doctor said, George, you're going blind. George didn't lose all his sight though, instead, he started seeing flashing lights in brilliant colors, even at night when he dreamed. He tried shooting baskets, but he kept missing. Instead of a basket, he saw an enormous eye floating in the air. On the next page, we see a drawing of a profile view of a station wagon. The wagon has luggage strapped to its roof. Also, instead of wheels, the wagon has orange, red, and yellow swirls. And where one would look to see inside, we only see purple and golden swirls. To the left, we see a painting of a swirling sun, red and green mountain ranges, and white puffy clouds. The background is a deep purple. George and his mother moved to New Mexico, where the sun always shines. The sun helped George's headaches, but he was still clumsy. Whenever he tripped over something that everyone else could see, he yelled at himself. On the next page, we see a drawing of the backs of two people who are walking and holding hands. The person on the left is George, and the one on the right, who's wearing a t-shirt, pants, and a ponytail, is George's friend Debbie. The back of George's shirt has diagonal strokes of dark blue, turquoise, orange, yellow, white, olive, and dark green. To the right, we see the full painting of the diagonal lines. At a camp for blind children, George and Debbie went for a walk. Debbie asked, Debbie had been blind from birth. She had never seen the mountains or a ferris wheel. When the wind ruffled her hair, she asked, what color is the wind? George looked around at what he saw and answered, the wind is like a rainbow. It's every color in the world. On the next page, we see a drawing of George and an older man. They are sitting on stools, facing one another. George looks grumpily as the man talks to him. George's shirt has a bright red background with green lines and yellow dots. To the left, we see a painting of a bright patch of blooming wildflowers. A blue eye with a yellow iris looks over them. George soon forgot Debbie's question. Nobody else sees the way you do, a priest told him. You should paint what you see. George didn't listen. He thought, 
I'll never be able to do what everybody else can do. On the next page, we see George running in a t-shirt, shorts, and tennis shoes. He has a big smile on his face. His shirt has a big swirl on it made of orange, yellow, turquoise, and purple. To the left, we see the full painting of the swirl. That was when George started to run. Running made him so tired, he forgot about being blind. That was one of the reasons he liked to run. George discovered he could run very fast. He could run a mile faster than any other blind person. In fact, he ran so fast, he went to the Olympics twice. On the next page, we see finger paintings of three eyes. They have yellow and red irises and turquoise backgrounds. They are outlined in deep black. To the right, we see a very abstract painting. It has every color of the rainbow and shows many shapes like eyes, suns, and faces. But no matter how far or how fast he ran, George always saw things that nobody else could see. When he looked at the world, it was like looking into a kaleidoscope. On the next page, we see a drawing of a New Mexican style chapel. It has two large bell towers, a large cross, and an enclosing stucco wall. In front of the chapel are trees which have bright red and yellow tulips on them. To the right, we see a painting of a large sun. It has long stretching solar flares made of rich reds and yellows. The background is dark blue and black. George's best friend died in a motorcycle accident. The thought that he might die scared George. He started to wonder, why am I even here? What's my purpose in life? Sitting in a chapel one day, he saw something different than usual squiggles or brilliant colors floating in the air. He saw himself bathed in light, running. He was running into the light. On the next page, we see George speaking to a gathering of people. He is very animated and gesturing with his hands. His shirt has a big heart on it, made of rich reds, blacks, and whites. To the left, we see the full painting of the heart. George never forgot the vision. Now he had something to say to people. When they asked him what it was like to be blind, he kept running but started talking too. Sometimes he talked to, to crowds of people. He told them that everybody was good at something. On the next page, we see sketches of butterflies with eyeballs on their wings. Their bodies are bright red and their wings are black and blue. To the right, we see a painting of a dusty mountain valley covered in green bushes. The black and blue butterflies are flying all throughout it. One day, a flyer arrived in the mail advertising a contest for blind artists. George remembered the priest who told him you should paint what you see. He remembered Debbie's question from so many years ago. He asked himself, what color is the wind? George started to paint, just like the priest told him to do. George had recently hiked through a swarm of butterflies. He painted what he saw and named it Butterfly Eyes. It was his first painting. He won the contest. After that, he started painting every day. On the next page, we see a drawing of a candlestick burning while raindrops trickle around it. To the left, we see a painting of dark rain clouds in a green, blue, and purple sky. The clouds are pouring red and yellow rain droplets. To their left, an orange sun beams away. Sometimes, George experimented. He might place a candle out in the wind or rain so he can see it flicker. When the wind blows or raindrops fall, then he paints all the eerie colors and strange things he sees in the flames. Sometimes George uses paintbrushes, but most days he finger paints using heavy work gloves with globs and globs of paint. On the next page, we see a drawing of a messy bucket filled with paintbrushes. Beside it is a paint palette made of pink, purple, and blue colors. To the left, we see a very abstract painting of wind gusts and a bright sun. This painting features the same color shown in the paint palette. Sometimes George visits schools to talk to students. He asks them the same question every time. He asks, 
What color is the wind? Then he lets them paint. Their paintings always surprise him. On the next and final page, we see George now as an adult. He is smirking with his chin rested thoughtfully in his left hand. To the right, we see a painting of yellow bulbs. Behind them is a background of bold blues and reds. Sometimes, George still runs, but when he looks at all the paintings stacked in his studio, hung on the walls of his house, or even better, inside a museum, he smiles. He never thought he would be an artist when he grew up. The end. A royal blue background appears. Overlaid on top of it is the ASDB logo and text which reads, Powered by ASDB Media, Copyright 2022, Arizona State Schools for the Deaf and the Blind, All Rights Reserved.